Hi YouTube, this is Markeisha. I'm here to share with you guys my um, second uh, entry into my um, swap that I am currently hosting. And this um, swap, my swap partner for this one was Proud Mommy 704, Shireen. Hi Shireen. And so um, it was a shabby chic altered balsa box. So let me just go ahead and dive right in. Um, you had to um, create four embellishments. And so I'll show you the first set that I did. And the first set here is some shabby chic flowers. And these flowers, um, I use the Michaels um, trim that everybody loves. So this one is a white one, and this one is a cream one. And I did not put a center in these because I wanted her to actually um, you know add a, whatever center that she wants with that one and so let me show you the other ones this is one using the rosette trim and then I do have a center there and then this is another one using that same trim and this one do have a center and it is it's kinda like a little puffy flower um, that you can make it's really really simple and really easy to make so that is the second um, set of flowers that I made. The next thing was some, some stick pins. And I created all of these stick pins except for um, one of them. But I wanted to uh, give it away because I thought it was so super cute. And I'll show you that one first. That one um, actually is this teapot. And I received this one in a swap from I Am Mommy 24. So um, I just kind of wanted to share that with her. And so the rest of the stick pins I created. So we have this one and then this one. To me, this one kind of is shaped like a dress form, I guess, to me. Um, and here is another one. And then um, I made another one of those that kind of looks like a little dress form. And then we have this one here. And so this little box that I have, I just refurbished this. This was from the Webster's Pages that we got um, with the last um, box that we got. And so I just added some paper from the paper line and, um, you know, embellished it. So that's my stick pins. The next thing that I made is a chunky charm. And so... I uh, just used a tag. I put a lot of um, little tassels and ribbons at the top. And I put it on one of the binding rings here because she can use it as either a keychain or, um, you know, maybe add it to a mini album or whatever. So we just have a little crystal bobble here. I have a Florida leaf. And then I just have some pearls all down it. Right here is a teacup or a teapot kettle and then this is the teacup so I thought that was really cute and then um, just bling like I have a little bling down at the bottom there and so um, I thought it was really really cute again she can use this for a keychain or just to add to like a mini album and so I just created this tag that she can totally use again just put some ribbon there my original plan was to try to see if I can um, let the dangle kinda hang from the ribbon but it was too heavy so that didn't work out quite well so that is that tag there and also I created this butterfly here and I added some um, glossy accent on it and just um, distressed the edges with some black suck um, distress ink and this is one of the wooden veneer pieces um, from Michaels and I just used the paper line and um, put that on there so I'm going to actually adhere that um, onto this so that is another one and then this is the next thing, and it's going to come packaged just like this. I just altered one of the boxes, um, little um, jewelry boxes, and put some ribbon on the top with a bling buckle. And then added some flowers here, some eyelash trim, some um, petaloo flowers here, and then these are wild orchid crafts. I have a little dove here 
Then I have a pearl, a little crystal, and I also have like a little um, heart-shaped little button that I took off. And this paper also came from the paper line, and I will show you the paper that I used in the end. And I just um, added some of the teardrop around the sides. And so this is how um, it looks. And so I just take this top off. And what I created inside of here was some bottle caps. And they're so super cute and shabby chic to me. So this first one I'll show you guys. I just have um, a little rose centered um, paper in the inside. I punched a hole in with my Big Bite. And then I just add a little dangle down at the bottom. I added a um, bling crown here. And then on the back, just really simple, I just put a little flower center on the back just to kind of um, hide the back part of that one. So it kind of looks like that. And then I put some pearls in the center of that one. Okay, and then the second one is this one. And I just put a crown in the center. And then, again, another one of the little dangles there. So it kind of dangles off. She can add to a project. And so I thought it was really, really cute. And it looks, you know, really cute down in that box there. And so just going to put that top right back on there. And it's going to come like that. So I love, love, love presentation. Um, the next things that I created, I was really just kind of stepping outside of the box. So um, I did some altar dominoes. And this one is kind of a shabby chic. I put some lace there. I put a um, buckle there, um, bling buckle, and then a pearl center. And then this gorgeous trim. And then just put a... Um, cameo right there and this tag here was gifted to me as well um, in a swap um, I can't remember who it was from but I saved it so that I could use again and um, here is the second one that I made and so I just add a metal piece I fussy cut this butterfly out and um, adhered that paper and then distressed the edges so um, she can use these. She can actually drill and make it into like a keychain or put some dangles on there if she like. But I left them really plain and simple. Again, this is my first time trying the altered dominoes. So that is another thing. And so last but not least, let me show you guys the, pa the box that I created. And I absolutely love this box. Let me pick the camera up a little bit so you guys can really see it. Okay. So this is how the box looks. Over here I just have an uh, arrangement of flowers. Um, let me just prop it up, maybe I can point. These are like uh, recollections, wild orchid crafts, and I put stickles all on the flowers. I added some um, dimensional butterflies here. This is one of the bottles um, that I had. I just put some lace on it and some bling. And I have a string of like bling just kind of going throughout the um, flower arrangement. Um, this blue flower here is just a rose um, colored flower. Uh, I'm sorry, a little road rose in that a blue. And then just some pearls over here. I have some sprays at the top and then I just cut some lace and kind of adhere some lace out there um, added another applique here and then I added some bling all around the box there so I will have some still photos at the end so you guys can get a better look and so let me just put the camera down and sorry for all the shaking and um, I added some rose trim here and I added a just a little um, pink string here to hold it down and so it opens up and I'm gonna have to pick the camera up again I'm at such a bad angle today um, and I have a lace um, bow here with the uh, flower in the center I really really love this paper um, it has this postcard here um, this cameo here I got from um, my kiddos, my four kiddos, Cindy four kiddos, I'm sorry, and I just added some bling and then added some trim down. And I painted the entire box, that cream 
buttermilk um, my favorite favorite um, paint to use when it comes down to shabby chic so I love the way the box turned out as you can see on the bottom I have some pearls just in here in the box and just to have that paper all the way around so again I will have some still photos because I know my angle was not the best today um, so thank you thank you so much for watching Shireen I really hope that you like all the goodies that I sent as I created for you and um, guys please leave a uh, comment at the bottom and let me know what you think about um, my altar projects and thanks so much for watching bye